Hi there, Jen Burley of The Oregonian, joined here by Billy Gates, and we're going to preview another game that has our attention this week. It's a top 10 matchup in the state of Oregon, uh, Clackamas at Central Catholic. Um, also, this game could very well decide uh, the Mount Hood Conference Championship, unless Oregon City has anything to say about it. But Central Catholic picked up their first win of the season uh, last week with a win over Barlow. Uh, Billy, do they have their confidence back up, and who, who should we look for um, in this matchup against Central Catholic? Well, or I against mean, Clackman? sure. I mean, if you're Central Catholic, I mean, your confidence just should have never left. I mean, they're <laughs> they're still good. I mean, I mean, they've they're. You know, first two non-conference games were against really, really good teams, obviously. So Camus and Jesuit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so you can't really fault them for. I mean, you know, to Steve Pine's admission, they didn't play their best. He doesn't think. But again, I mean, then again, the teams they played, they can make you not play your best because they're so good. Um, I really think Central Catholic is, is going to make this a dogfight with Clackamas. I mean, both teams like to run the ball. Both teams are good at it. Uh, even against Jesuit, Central Catholic was still able to run the ball fairly well. I mean, Amari Hale had 87 yards on 13 carries. Michael Abraham, 53 yards on nine carries and a couple touchdowns. So, I mean, once, once Central Catholic you know, figures out their identity on offense, uh, which to me I think is pound the ball on the ground, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure Steve Pine and the rest of the coaching staff is going to figure that out. Uh, if they're able to do that, then I think they can – they can hang with Clackamas and make this a make this a good ballgame. Clackamas has a good running back themselves, Jacob McCary, and they, they've also they're two and one, but have not lost in the state of Oregon. So yeah, uh, McGreevy, he's their workhorse. I mean, he's had well, he had 39 carries against Reynolds last week, I and mean, for a high school running back, that's a bunch. I mean, you get at that 40 mark, that's kind of when people start to win. So be like, oh, like, really, he's carrying the ball that much. Uh, 229 yards, three touchdowns in the 43 to 20 win over Reynolds. He's had 100 yards rushing in all the three games this season, even that big loss to uh, Grant from Sacramento, California in week two. Um, and he's also had over 200 against Oregon teams. Granted, one of them was 5A Summit, and the other one is Reynolds. But still, I mean, he's chewing up yards like, like he's you know, supposed to, and that takes a lot of pressure off Mitch uh, Majewski, their, their quarterback, who's just kind of getting his feet wet. Uh, but I would also expect Clackamas to maybe throw it a little bit more as the year goes on. But... Their safety net is is a uh, McGreevy on the ground, and I think Central Catholic is going to find out how good he is. Hate to put you on the spot here, but who do you think comes out of this game with a win? Oh man, that's that's <laughs> tough because I, I really think that this game is going to be one of those last possession type games. Uh, I think Central Catholic's got a bit of a sour taste in their mouth after Clackamas knocking them out of the playoffs last year. Uh, I mean, gosh, it's it's at home for Central Catholic, Hillsborough Stadium, so. I mean, I mean, can you claim a home field advantage? I mean, I guess Clackamas does have to travel, but still, uh, I'll. Oh gosh, Jen, I will. I will take Clackamas by a touchdown. All right, I'll take Central Catholic. All right. then. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us this week once again. It's Clackamas at Central Catholic, Hillsborough Stadium, 7 p.m. We'll see you next time.